what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so this will be a spoiler free review for monkey man which is directed by dev Mate dev patel who also stars in the film as our t as our uh, titular monkey man and he co-wrote the screenplay alongside paul Anguale or wella and john coley or Kali. And the film again is starring Patel. It stars Charlotte Copley, Pitobosh, Vipin Sharma, Sekandar Kier, and some other names I'm just not going to mention because I don't want to continue possibly butchering their names. But it is revolving around Patel's character Kid, an anonymous young man who ekes out a meager living in an underground fight club where night after night, wearing a gorilla mask, he is beaten bloody by more popular fighters for cash. After years of suppressed rage, Kid discovers a way to infiltrate the enclave of the city's sinister elite. As his childhood trauma boils over, his mysteriously scarred hands unleash an explosive campaign of retribution to settle the score with the men who took everything from him. Now, I will say that Monkey Man is a very exhilarating brutal visceral and intense action revenge film that mostly takes everything you might love about movies such as john wick the equalizer or any other story like those two and just apply it here and you have another example of why these type of action films will remain popular when executed correctly as monkey man is I believe this was Dev Patel's directorial debut and he did a fine job overall. Obviously, there's room for improvement, of course, but Patel crushed it with Monkey Man altogether. A film so brutal at times, I found myself disturbed by how much I was enjoying certain violent moments because of the way it was executed and shot. Uh, Patel stars his kid, but I could have sworn I heard him say in the movie that his name was Bobby. That could have been a code name, but let's go with kid according to IMDb. Kid has a very traumatic traumatic past carries a lot of rage and sorrow in his heart because of this past his desire to overthrow the elite snobs that terrorize his youth is what immediately makes him relatable and a character that i can root for screenplay the screenplay explores kids trauma through various flashbacks of bloody hands choking like it's teasing us of what happened to him for the most part uh, other various aspects of destruction that are teased and while i can commend monkey man for showing and not telling the flashbacks ultimately become a bit too much because they tease us with glimpses of what happened. Then we get a full fledged showcase of what what actually went on, all the context. The screenplay just spends too much time reminding us what is motivating this man to go after these elite snobs. In fact, it's a detriment to the antagonist that he despises. I know what they've done to him and I'm against them for it. But there's a level of anger kid constantly has written on his face at the thought of these people or when he's around them that I could never fully connect with had I seen more of the villains doing wicked activities as opposed to seeing them mostly depicted as drug addicts with a chip on their shoulders then the hatred kid felt would have taken a bigger toll on me as I watched because now I'm starting to hate these guys as well sadly monkey man leaves the antagonist as hollow bad guys waiting to be beaten to death Still, those excessive reminders of what motivates Kid do add some weight to the film's political commentary. For those who have also seen the film, I can't be the only one who picked up on some type of Lion King inspiration with this screenplay. There's definitely in the middle there some sort of Lion King inspiration. Chime in down below to let me know if I'm just tripping, but I'm sure someone else picked up on this. Patel's performance as Kid is nothing less than captivating. The sorrow and anger is communicated so well, even if he's not saying a word, those facial expressions remained enough for me to feel sorry for and connected to Kid. I almost was hoping he'd choose the high road at certain points too, because I didn't want this character to just let his rage overcome him and just be consumed by it. Nevertheless, his rage and emotional turmoil are captured quite well from Patel. Most of the performances were strong altogether for the most part, but obviously I'm going to lean on Patel since he was our lead. The choreography is quite intense and easy to follow for the most part. However, some of the camera work with a lot of the close-up shots at times make it difficult to understand the choreography and do does make it quite difficult to follow at certain, certain moments. But overall, the action, choreography, very breathtaking, very intense, very gripping, uh, a lot, a lot of the punches I was feeling them even though I wasn't even enduring any of them I felt like I was being punched myself the frantic camera work definitely kept me engaged and made monkey man a heart pounding experience from start to finish but sometimes the chaos can, can again just become a bit too much I think a lot of that would also go down to the editing choices in the movie not necessarily being the best Patel definitely knows how to build suspense and that's the biggest takeaway for me here with his directorial debut he has an eye for for the action sequences too very good job at it so i look forward to his future projects that he is directing very killer soundtrack 
a lot of good songs bops if you will and all in all i would say the pacing was fine though i did think the second half drug a bit there's just a lot of intensity for the most part in this film and it's like heart pounding action from start to finish everything as far as like the camera work all of it's very very frantic from the very first act all the way through well not all the way through and even during that third act but then when we hit this middle kind of drags and it doesn't really mesh all that well with the rest of the movie because everything else about the film is go 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 and even still and I've seen other movies where when you're doing that, it kind of takes me out of the experience because I'm not being allowed to breathe. But the chaos really worked for Monkey Man. But then we get to the middle where they take this breath. And it's like, OK, can we pick back up the pacing here? But all in all, I would give Monkey Man a solid. Yeah, I'm going to give it an eight. It wasn't anything overly original, but it was just the overall execution was quite good. Let me know what you guys think about Monkey Man down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.